Kylie Jenner fans believe that she may have already secretly given birth to her second child with Travis Scott. However, due to the tragedy that took place at Astroworld, Kylie has been doing her best to remain silent on social media. Let's cover some of the hints though that fans believe point to Kylie already giving birth. A few days ago, Khloe Kardashian shared a video on her Instagram story that included appearances by the Kardashian sisters' kids, including Khloe's daughter True, Kim's kids, and Kylie's daughter Stormy. Many people were quick to notice that Stormy was the only kid in the video that was still wearing a mask. And according to Reddit, that meant that she must be trying to protect herself because of the new baby. One user writes, My daughter had a theory that Kylie had the baby because Stormy is the only one in the pic wearing a mask, which then set off a debate online with many people supporting the theory of a secret birth. Another commented though that they assumed that she was still wearing the mask because Kylie is still pregnant and therefore wouldn't want to take any risks. Another person referenced their own pregnancy and said, Or she's having them soon. I was induced on the 5th, so Thanksgiving I was a psycho about masks and distancing to still see family but also be as safe as possible leading up to my induction. Now the second hint came days later when fans noticed another clue that Kylie might have given birth. Travis Barker posted a picture of himself watching How the Grinch Stole Christmas and might have let another clue slip up. In the pic, you can also see on the coffee table that there is a flower pot of red roses, some books, a cup of tea, and oh look, a baby bottle. This led to a popular Kardashian news page on Instagram to post about it and let their followers weigh in with their theories about who this baby bottle belonged to. In the post, they write, So whose baby bottle is at Courtney's house in Travis's story tonight? Guys, I don't think this means anything at all, but I already see people coming up with theories. Spotted by at Travis Forever. And lots of people had their theories. One person commented, Kylie's baby. Notice how she wasn't in any pictures that have been posted, but you can hear her voice when filming Chloe. And for a third hint that she has either already secretly given birth or just about to, people pointed towards Kylie's lack of pointed nails. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star is well known for her long, dramatic, talon-like nails, but recently showed off a much shorter French manicure. Nail artist Lisa Kahn posted a photo showing off Kylie's nails and wrote in the caption that she chose a classic French manicure to celebrate the new year. Although one fan speculated that the shorter nails is a sign that the baby is either here or on the way. One user shared the post on Reddit and said, These are definitely I'm about to have a newborn nails. With another agreeing and adding, Yes, assuming she helps change diapers and stuff, long acrylics are like a bad scratch waiting to happen. Kylie famously hid her pregnancy with Stormy for the entire nine months, so it's very possible that she could be hiding this secret birth as well. Especially given the amount of backlash that she's been getting every time that she does something following what happened at Astroworld. Kylie and Travis announced that they would be expecting their second child together in August, but they never revealed the baby's gender or due date. Although a source had previously told media outlets that she was due in early 2022. Kylie Jenner just had a terrifying encounter with a stalker outside of her home, and sadly this is not the first time she or her family has had to deal with crazed fans invading their space. Early Sunday, an obsessed Kylie fan was arrested outside of her Beverly Hills home after the fan violated a restraining order that legally forced him to stay away from Kylie. The man's name is Jay Rumezgan, and paparazzi photos showed him being handcuffed and put in a police car. The man who has visited her house several times buzzed the gate at the front of her house. The security guard immediately knew who the man was and called the cops to assist. He was then arrested for violation of a court order, aka the restraining order, and is currently being held on a $20,000 bail according to TMZ. Apparently the man had been to Kylie's home multiple times over the last few months, hoping to see her, and she got police involved when she started to fear for her safety. This is not the first obsessed fan that Kylie's had to deal with. She's been the target of several obsessed fans over her years as an A-list star. Just earlier this month, another man was arrested for trespassing after he hopped a fence attempting to propose to her. The man thankfully did not end up getting access to Kylie's home, but he did end up getting access to her neighbor's home where the man was able to knock on their front door. Super scary. The man arrived with flowers and wanted to profess his love, then proposed to Kylie. The man was ultimately arrested for misdemeanor trespassing and taken in for booking. But that's not all. Then in June of 2021, a third man was arrested after he also tried to profess his love to Kylie. According to TMZ, he was familiar to her security detailing, but cooperative in the past when asked to leave the property. But this time he was arrested because he refused to leave until he saw Kylie face to face. Kylie was apparently not home when this all took place. A fourth person was also arrested after he allegedly jumped Kylie's fence and set off fireworks. So it's clear that Kylie is unfortunately very familiar with these situations and has a large security detail because of it. Kylie's sister Kendall has also been a victim to similar incidents. 
Both Kylie and Kendall have a restraining order against another man who went to both of their homes in the same day. Back in March, this man was found swimming naked in Kendall's pool. He then went to Kylie's house where he was arrested and was told to stay 100 yards from both of them. That same month, Kendall was also granted a five-year restraining order against another man who was believed by police to be driving across the country to kill her and then himself. These incidents have caused Kendall and Kylie to leave their homes on multiple occasions and up their security. Following the tragedy at the Astroworld Festival, fans were convinced that Kylie Jenner would leave Travis Scott and distance herself and the Kardashians from his legal battles. But a new source has revealed that this is not the case. Apparently, the couple are stronger than ever ahead of the birth of their second child. Since the November 5th tragedy, Travis Scott's career has taken a complete nosedive. His fans are turning on him, along with him getting served with thousands of lawsuits, equaling billions of dollars in potential payouts. Outs. But Kylie is standing by him and supporting him during this difficult time. A source exclusively told Hollywood Life, quote, Travis has been with Kylie nonstop for several weeks now, and he is going to be by her side for the foreseeable future. The tragedy has really changed Travis and his relationship with Kylie. Apparently, it shifted Travis's understanding of family, and he realizes they are his number one priority. The source continued, quote, Following Astroworld, Travis woke up and realized that his career isn't the most important thing in his life anymore. Kylie supported him and still supports him, even though a lot of people are turning their backs on him. Apparently, Travis and Kylie are closer than ever, and he stepped into the role of father very well during this difficult time. The source also revealed that Kylie and Travis's relationship was on the rocks during the pandemic, but apparently this this tragedy tested them in a new way, and they know that being together and leaning on one another for support is the best thing for both of them right now. Adding quote, through tragedy they have found a bond that seems to be unbreakable, which only helps that they're both individually going through. Kylie and Travis are ready to welcome baby number two any day now, and it was reported that over the weekend that Kylie had her baby shower with close family and friends in attendance. Sources report that the bash was held at Chloe's new home, which is next door to Kris Jenner's. Chloe had a massage station set up, treats for attendees, and a tent with tables for privacy. We're not sure when Kylie's due date is, but since she was already several months along when she announced the pregnancy in August, we assume she's getting very close. Kylie had been more visible this time around with her pregnancy, but after the Astroworld tragedy, she has mostly been absent on social media. Kylie Jenner is probably going to have a difficult time getting to sleep after law enforcement officials recently said that an obsessed fan was planning on breaking into her home to propose to her. Although there was just one problem, he wasn't at the right home. I mean, she was just hanging out and almost got a surprise marriage proposal proposal, but this fan missed the mark and police were able to intervene before he was able to realize this. On Thursday, the police got a report that the man had hopped a fence and knocked on a door looking for Kylie only to realize that he was actually at her neighbor's home, which foiled his plans immediately. Police ended up speaking to the 23-year-old man who was carrying a bouquet of flowers and without hesitation, he told them that he was there to profess his love for Kylie Jenner and then ask for her hand in marriage. Which I mean, it sounds like he really thought this one through, but maybe next time you should probably check to see if the other person feels this way as well. Although the police were not going to take any chances just letting this guy go, even if he was only armed with flowers. They ended up arresting him for misdemeanor trespassing and so he was brought into the station for booking. What's wild is that back in October, another fan is said to have actually set off fireworks near Kylie's home as well. Around 10 p.m. on a Wednesday, some man was reportedly buzzing her security button asking for Kylie, and then after security told him to leave the property, he initially did, but then he returned again shortly after, which is when he began setting off fireworks outside of the home, and then actually jumping over her fence. However, police would arrive and stop this man before he was able to get past her security barricades. And according to inside sources, they claimed that this intruder kept grabbing for his pockets as if he was trying to show them that he had a weapon or something. Luckily, during the time of this incident, Kylie was not home. As per TMZ, the suspect was about 6 foot 4 and 240 pounds, and he was said to have been carrying a hammer, rubber mallet, a lighter, and fireworks. Because of him setting off these fireworks right in front of her home, he apparently did about $1,200 in damage to Kylie Jenner's security gates, which meant that when the police came in to charge him, he was charged with felony vandalism and would be held on $20,000 bail. At this point, I would actually hope that the family is paying for extra security because if you recall, Kim Kardashian also had a very obsessed fan who tried to marry her. Back in July, Kim was granted a five-year permanent order of protection against a man named Nicholas Costanza. The fan not only showed up to her home on multiple occasions, but he also sent Kim a package that contained Plan B and a diamond ring. Luckily, that package was intercepted by Kim's security team because, man, is that ever a weird and disturbing gift to open up. In her filing for the restraining order, Kim says that 
Costanza has shown up at her property a handful of times in 2021, as I mentioned earlier. This included once in February and then again in late May. He even tried to spring up at her gated community and tell the guards that he was there to pick her up for dinner. On top of being crazy in person, he was also crazy online. Kim says that Costanza had also been posting fake marriage certificates and other bizarre messages online, all of which alluded to her waiting for her knight in shining armor, which he later clarified was him. Now he has to stay at least 100 yards away from her and refrain from any contact whatsoever. Going back to Kylie Jenner though for a moment, she has still yet to post on her main Instagram page following the tragedy that took place at Travis Scott's Astroworld. However, her Kylie Cosmetics page is attempting to get back into their promotion routine, but the comment section is just not having it. I mean, she has people telling her to stop posting, people saying that they've thrown away their lip kits, and others calling to boycott both Travis and Kylie altogether. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott are days away from welcoming their second child together but cheating rumors involving Kylie and Drake might be the end of the couple for good. After the Astroworld tragedy, Kylie and Travis have been doing everything possible to lay low and deal with the thousands of lawsuits that have been put against him. One TikTok user even alleged that she was on the set of a magazine photo shoot involving the couple that was not released to the public due to the scandal. And this TikTok user claimed that Kylie and Travis are actually not together anymore and it's all for show. They said, quote, Travis and Kylie seemed very comfortable under the sheets, but even even though they will soon have two children together, they are not a couple and haven't been for two years. Adding quote, my friend worked this shoot and said that they didn't talk to each other the whole time. After that was exposed, Kylie's sister Chloe came forward and denied these rumors, making it clear that Kylie and Travis are together and trashing media outlets for running with the story. Chloe said, quote, Wow, I don't know why this magazine would write this, but they are very much a couple. While the couple was trying to combat those rumors, Tristan Thompson's most recent mistress also spoke out against Kylie and Travis's relationship. Marley Nichols, a woman who claims she's the mother of Tristan Thompson's third child following an affair, posted to her Instagram that Kylie and Drake had slept together while Kylie was with Travis. She wrote in an Instagram story, quote, You know Drake slept with Kylie last year, but you aren't man enough to tell Travis Scott. Well, there it is. Good night folks, more tomorrow. She added later, quote, I'm not being quiet anymore. I don't care about a gag order or the Kardashians threatening to sue us for defamation. It's so many twisted, unscrupulous, dark things that the public doesn't know about, but they will soon. Just stay tuned. These rumors were a huge shock to fans who felt that Kylie and Travis were better than ever. But now it seems the rumor that Kylie and Travis are not actually together might be true, and maybe Kylie did not cheat when she slept with Drake. This is not the first time that Kylie and Drake have been rumored to be a couple. Back in 2019, after splitting from Travis, a source revealed that Kylie and Drake were dating. The source said, quote, Kylie and Drake's friendship did take a romantic turn recently, adding, quote, at his Halloween party, they were affectionate and clearly there together. They've been seeing each other romantically. He also showed up to Kendall Jenner's birthday. At that time, the rumor mill swirled for weeks, but nothing was ever confirmed, and then Kylie got back with Travis. Well, Drake moved on to model Iman Haman in February of 2021. So who knows if this allegation will put a strain in Drake and Travis Scott's relationship, because the pair appeared to be friends. Drake even joined Travis on stage at the Astroworld Festival before disaster struck. Khloe Kardashian is defending Kylie Jenner and her relationship with Travis Scott after a whirlwind of rumors were put out. A TikTok user recently posted some leaked images of that recent magazine cover shoot that we told you about previously that had been canceled due to the Astroworld Festival tragedy. Before we get into Khloe's response though, let's take a look at what this magazine had written about Kylie and Travis because the writer really spilled some tea here. In the article under the photos of Travis, and Kylie, they write, approach to be as expansive as possible, focusing on chosen and unconventional families as much as on traditional ones. That's when Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott, and their beautiful daughter Stormy Webster came to mind for our cover story. We learned that the elusive and hugely successful Jenner was pregnant with her second child with one of the world's most famous musicians. But we were also reminded that despite their growing brood, Jenner and Scott are not actually a couple. Here was a real example of a family operating on their own terms. And a lot of people in the comments of the TikTok were split on whether or not this was approved by Kylie and Travis. One person writes, I worked in magazines for a decade. Talent does not get to see or approve a profile written about them. That is standard practice. However, another person added a very valid point and said, this is W Magazine, not some random low-key indie mag. It was definitely approved. Another user commented that a friend of hers had actually worked on this photo shoot and claimed that Kylie and Travis didn't talk to each other the entire time. This TikTok user who had shared multiple leaked images from the article also must have been shocked to see Khloe Kardashian in her comment section. In one of the TikToks about the 
photo shoot, Chloe commented, Wow, I don't know why this magazine would write this, but they are very much a couple. Although I must say, sending Chloe Kardashian in to clean up relationship rumors is a strange choice by the Kardashian family. To give you some context on the relationship between Kylie and Travis, though, the pair started dating back in 2017. Since they started dating, the two of them have managed to keep a pretty low profile before eventually splitting up in October of 2019. But in June of this year, it seemed like the pair had rekindled the relationship as they announced that they would be expecting their second child together three months later. I'm assuming that the W Magazine article was speaking about the pair having Stormy together, then breaking up, and then coming back together for their second child as the reason why they weren't a couple. Although that's even a bit of a leap because it says that they're not a couple in such a matter of a fact way that you would think that Kylie just told them that they weren't together during that photo shoot. Ultimately, W Magazine made the decision to not release the article because it would be viewed as insensitive following the tragedy that took place at Astroworld. In all honesty, this was a really smart move because even these leaked images of the photo shoot are causing all kinds of issues. I guarantee you that had they released this article, many would have said that it was to make Travis appear more like a family man to deflect from the tragedy. On top of that, any drama that came from it would have also been viewed in the same light as a distraction from what really matters. The families of the Astroworld victims are still in mourning and need justice. However, in his first legal response, Travis filed for a dismissal of the lawsuits because he doesn't feel that he is to blame for inciting the dangerous crowd surges that caused 10 concert goers to lose their life. One user commented on the TikTok exposing this interview and essentially touched on what I was just saying about them trying to make Travis look more like a family man. In the comments they wrote, They probably aren't together but with everything going on with Travis it probably looks better for him to be a family man.